24 mils in there today. Not bad going, not bad going. Uh, we'll go now. I'll put on the corn bag spreader. We're gonna go shift the cows first. Dad said he'll bring down this one. Little carvies. Yep, it's gonna wait a little bit longer. We're going to milk the cows. We're just gonna bring some other little carvies in first. Yeah, I've had a bit of water today. It's quite a bit out there actually. It's not on our farm, it's just up the road, so be interesting to see what our farm's like. So yeah, I'm feeling a bit better today. I didn't yeah. Just relaxed yesterday. Did the jobs he had to do. Dad hasn't started coming yet. Maybe eventually coming down. But, yep. Um, if you've noticed, we actually don't spread corn bag for our heifers. The reason why we do that, why we don't do that, is because they're generally alright. They don't seem to have any issues when they calve, so it's just how they are. And as Dad says, they've never really had any issues. Well, as you can see, the drains are starting to fill up. We haven't actually had a lot of rain. It's just been constant. We've got at least three inches since the start of this month, so maybe it's just the ground that's just saturated now. We've got a bit of water and grass is growing really good. Yeah, we, we did the drain out quite well. Dad's always kept the drains clear. Like down here is not too much of a hassle. The water always seems to drain away, so that's all good. Yeah, well, let's go check. we got another calf over there. get four mothers out four down three to go Carvey on the back as you can see here cows made a bit of a mess in the gateway can't be helped it is quite a low part of the paddock dips down into there that's because of the oak tree as any tree does it makes the ground sink around it believe it or not okay so we put a reel around the gateway so that they've got some high ground up that end there so they can sleep on if if they're if they get a bit wet yeah, we'll save this gateway. We've got, they've got the trough, so they'll be happy. That the heifers now. We see one heifer's on the job, and they're going well. Into the next break. My weed I don't like. All right, well, I'll pick up the standards. Dad will wind up the reel. There they are. They'll be in their paddock. Got a bit of grass left. And here's the heifers. Yeah, we never noticed it, but one of the cows is actually still calving. So we had to go down and get another one. Mistakes happen. Mistakes happen. Amateurs. Amateurs, as they say. <laughs> and the girls are over there, they weren't very happy when we come back down, but they are all off to go eat some more grass now. And 91 has just had a calf. So, yeah. Yeah. Little mistake. Well, not a mistake, just we got in a cow that looked like she calf, but she was calving, so, so well. Girls are milking well this morning, all going good, all going good. Hey, uh, we've got two buckets down here, one for our penicillin cow, and one for our two cows that are going to go to the calves that just come in this morning. There's a couple of those two, a couple of those seven that actually need a feed, so they'll get some nice colostrum milk. As for the other calves, they'll just get what these girls are pumping out. Put it in, Dad's gone out to go and put it in two buckets already, straight out of the bottom of the of the plant. That's good. Little heifer acting up a little bit, but she's not too bad. All good, all good. Ooh, give her a pat. She'll be all right. Time. Yeah, Tess has done a great job with them. Don't even have to hop in with them now. Hey, Dad. Yep, makes me most happy. One's feeding well. Got one over there to feed still. And we've got to feed two of them in there that aren't, haven't had a drink yet. So just feeding this little girl here. Everyone else has been fed in the pen. Well, that one got fed. The other four, five, other five, two, four, five, yep. Other five coming, they're full already, so little girl just learning. Doing well. Probably getting full. So when I'm by myself, this is how I set it up. I put the standards out first, walking, and I put up the reel. Okay, so this is the first reel of two. We're going to set up in this paddock. 
this is where the cows are coming tomorrow. There's some good grass in here. we do get a cow carve or having carving issues tonight saves us having to accidentally forget everything to put it back up another little heifer she's had a successful carving her little carving's happy renewed this little bit here because I had a joiner here luckily it wouldn't have made it otherwise so I had to put that in there I used my hacksaw blade cut off each little bit so that it's new it's connecting on to some new alkathene rather than connecting over thread that's already there which is not good won't last long if you do that so you better to cut all three bits off again and reconnect it up and that's what I've done there yeah, that's the old one there. Not very well, is it? <laughs> Broken off. That's all right. If it's looking happy there. Good little heifer. It's all right. And our trough's refilling. That's good. Right. Going to have the cause bag spread a bit of wash now. put a bit of shavings in front of the pins so that it's not that much of a incline to actually put the milk in now it makes it a bit easier for Tessa the little car is looking happy put the last gate on so we'll be ready we are ready for the onslaught well we are past our big date where the cars meant to be coming through I've got this part ready here so we put our bobby calf trailer on it the bobby calf truck backs up from over here and this is where our bobby calf trailer will be. We just had some friends pop around and get some shavings. We had a bit extra, so we thought we'd give it some. We didn't need the rest of it, so we're all sorted. Oh, the rains are coming. About to start, we'll go home and uh, have some lunch. Yeah, we're down at the local uh, flood pump. Yep, and we're very full of water, as you've seen. And Carl is now cleaning out the flood pump. Better not drop his phone or I'll hear about it. We want to keep it going. So, it's one of the jobs on the farm. Get the flood pump cleaned. We're expecting a lot of rain tonight in the next three tonight to the next two two to three days. So yeah. You can see our water there, it's pretty high. Jimmy about a meter from that bottom plate to the water level so yeah it's a bit higher at the moment drains all full starting to head out in the paddock but this pump will help out 
as long as we can keep it clean. And we have to watch out not to break the rake. It's quite a long rake. How are we going, Carl? Getting tired yet? We've only been raking for about five or ten minutes. This is where the pump runs out into in this canal here. A couple of big stop banks beside the road. And, uh, yep, doesn't look it, but there's a lot of water running out of that flood pump. Dad's yeah, having a turn. You got some bigger clubs out before. Yeah, well, you've finished it. Uh, see, he goes a bit further away and further down than I do. I just did the, the main part. Dad's doing the... So we don't have to do that. Sweet. Keep going with this and then we'll get down to the farm. Go milk some cows. Two little calves. Two eight eights just calves. I think one eight eights. Six. Both little girls. Yeah. Well, that's good. Just check the heifers as well. We're looking over the fence. Still looks like just the one from today. Wandering through. Yeah. Even gave the little carvey an air tag. Makes it a lot easier to distinguish who's who in the morning. Alright. Head it up. Stand on the fence. I'll be brave. Yeah. Yeah. Four for the morning so far. Five and put the one in the other paddock. Well, these are our seven uh, cows we got in today. And then after we've milked these ones through, we'll go and get the other girls and milk them. Now, milking cows. We're not far off putting in the vat. Give these girls four days, eight milkings. And they'll be in the vat. We're sending some milk. Jonathan Granny getting the cows in. These are our milkers in now. Just milking the colostrum girls at the moment. All going well, all going well. Girls are going good. Some of them look like they're finishing up. You on the motorbike, Dallas? Yeah, here's our second and third in, which is our mate milkers. They're in. Milking well. Milking well. Good girls. The little heifers are stopping there to get some more meal. Ah, we'll see you in the morning, girls, for another morning milking. Shake. Let's wash some cups. There we are. Dad's getting the bobby calf trailer ready. This wasn't where it was sitting. Takes you the one dry part in the paddock. Why does he carry it so low? Is because of that nice foot. So if it does decide to go flat neck as it go into him, he doesn't have to worry about it. It'll hit the ground because he's nice and low. trailer is uh, movable, we need something in front of it just to stop it from moving around. So that's where she'll sit. She's about right on height. So we'll get her in place. There Here's our trailer all set up. That's where our bobby calves go out. Successful! There we go. Bobby calves all tagged. We've got six of them for the morning. Oh, I think that's us for the day. Isn't that, Dad? Yep. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you all in the morning. Thank you. Yep, <laughs> pump's going well. Just gave it a bit of a clean out. Didn't need much.